Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. It is a beautiful day and today I'm doing the bonsai shuffle. I want to start to bring my tropical trees from the plant room out into the glass greenhouse. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to move the trees that are in the poly house out onto the benches. The trees that are in the glass greenhouse will go in the poly house and then the tropical trees will go from the plant room into the glass greenhouse. Easy as that. I'm going to begin today by moving these trees from the poly house out onto the bench. Once I get all the trees out of this greenhouse, I can clean out the greenhouse and fix the hole in the roof. Here's a look at the hole in the greenhouse. It just tore along a seam, the plastic. So I've just got to tape it up for now. And then in the summertime, I'll, I'll come up with a more permanent fix. The wood on this bench is rotting out really badly. If you turn this piece over, you can see that it's basically just not there. So I'll have to reskin this bench either with wood or maybe cattle fencing or something. So I'll have to put all the trees from the poly house over onto this far bench here. It's a good solid bench. So that's where I'll begin. I'll start by moving these cedars off this bench. I can't put them on the ground because the rabbits will chew the trunks. So I'll have to put them on another bonsai bench. There, that's got that job done. Now I'll clean off the surface of the table, get all this leaves and debris off here. Brush it down. Out come the trees. trees. Silver maples. The willow. More trees. Larches. Out goes the apple tree. I've got all my trees out of the greenhouse, but I still have a lot of stuff in here. I've got all my soil making supplies, a lot of stuff that doesn't need to be in here. So I'm going to spend the next while cleaning the whole greenhouse out. And I'll also be washing down the plastic. You can see how it, it gets, um, I don't know if it's fertilizer buildup or what it is, build up on the walls and that it all washes off. So that'll be much nicer once I get that all cleaned up. It'll let a lot more light in here too. I am slowly working away at cleaning out the greenhouse. So I got the floor area mostly cleaned up. I still got a lot of junk under here. It's amazing how this stuff accumulates over the years. I don't even know what half the stuff is. It just ends up in the greenhouse here. Putting it out of the rain, I guess, or something. So, yeah. But it's getting there. It's uh, kind of exciting cleaning the greenhouse out. This was like, I built this greenhouse for very cheap. It's just two metal benches. And then I got angle iron and tied them together. And then I bolted these upright steel columns to it and then put my plastic roof arches in. I built this whole thing, it was under $500. It was amazing. It worked really, really well. I was so happy to get it. It was like my, my 
introduction to greenhouses and it kind of changed the way I did bonsai because now you could protect your trees from frost. I could put a little heater in here if it was getting really cold outside. It really extended the growing season and took a lot of the worry out of growing bonsai because I could overwinter them inside a nice greenhouse. So I'll keep keep working away, cleaning it up. Well, after about an hour, I have the floor cleaned up in the greenhouse. You can see it down here. It's pretty muddy and that my concrete paving stones have kind of sunk in in the middle here. So I'm thinking maybe in the future, some digging in here, put some pea gravel down, take all these concrete things out and reset them all. I kind of work on the floor a bit, get it all nice in here. So I still have a lot of stuff up here on the benches. It's kind of like a trip down memory lane. I'm finding stuff that was projects from like four or five years ago. So I still have a lot of stuff to clean up in here and find places for, but it's getting there. I think I'm going to tackle this rip in the ceiling next. Get that all patched up. I've got this greenhouse tape. It's UV resistant. It can take the high temperatures of a greenhouse without losing its stickiness. So I'll use that to kind of tape it together. This will only be temporary because I'm going to redo the roof of the greenhouse this summer, making it a bit stronger and maybe some vents up there and things like that. So here I go, I'll fix the greenhouse up now. I'm going to have to fix it from the inside because I can't get a ladder around the far side because I have a tarp down there and it's frozen to the ground. So I'm just going to put some patches and then I might use my red tape to run the seam to seal it up. This is just to kind of keep it together. Okay. Well, there it is right there, sealed together. Now, if I can get my hand in here. Okay, so that, that's kind of sealed it. Close the crack anyway. I don't know if I'll be able to close it right up here, but close enough. There we go, that closed it up. Put my hand in there if I can. It's very bright looking up at the sun here. Okay, that's quite good actually. Even if I even if I didn't totally seal it, it it's still better than nothing. I do want to get it fairly closed up because if I have to turn the heat on in here, I don't want it just going out the ceiling with these vents. Even just being under cover here keeps a lot of the frost away from your trees. Okay, let's see if I can get it closed up more here. working quite well. I don't know how it'll hold up in a windstorm, but at least I won't have the snow load on it anymore. I'm not expecting, you know, much more snow. You never know, but I'm hoping there's no big storms coming. Uh, now, I think I need one right about here. Like that and then okay that's kind of got it patched up now I've got to seal it so I'm gonna get that red tape that construction tape it also survives high heat and stays sticky in the heat so I think it'll be good it'll look ugly but I'll just try and seal that up so at least you know when it's raining it doesn't drip down in the greenhouse and hopefully it'll hold it together long enough until summer comes. I've got the kitty out in the greenhouse here too. 
she's an indoor cat, but I figure while the greenhouse is empty, Kitty can enjoy a nice sunny warm day here. Right, Kitty? Yeah. Okay, now I have to step over here, Kitty. So I gotta start it in here, just tucking it under this beam here. Wow, it's really sticky. get it in there there we go now I got to try and run it up so it kind of seals the seam in. I don't know how easy this will be to do but kind of missing a bit I gotta straighten it out there we go So far this tape is sticking really, really well. Tuck tape. Good stuff. Probably get it in clear too, I imagine. I don't know. I'll have to check. Hey Katie, what's up? What's up, putters? What do you get? Wow, that's a bit of crow in there. Oh, better not lose the end of my tape here. It's really hard to find. I'll just fold it over on itself a bit there. Okay, let's get this tape stuck down now. Well, I think it's working really well. It's certainly sticking. I have a, a corner open here too. It ripped. So I might have to patch that up too. I'll have to find some plastic and kind of put a patch over it. Because it, it drips in that corner. I mean, it's a bit of a vent, but like I said, if I have the heat on, I don't want to be pumping it out the hole in the roof. So it looks like I can stretch the plastic over and close this hole up up here. So more red tape. It's a little too far to reach. I'm going to reinforce the roof from this side also though, so it's not just the one layer of tape on the inside. I think that'll hold this seal much stronger in the roof. There's a seam here that keeps coming apart too. I'll try the red tape on it. See how it goes. Okay, my hole in the roof, right there. It always drips on me when I'm watering. If it's raining out. So let's get that fixed. Right here. It looks like I had a piece of tape on it, but it just came off. So now, I've got tuck tape on it. Which, we'll see if this lasts longer than the greenhouse tape. Or if it's kind of about the same. So that fixes that hole. That's nice. The whole thing's pretty, pretty watertight now and airtight. Okay, so I can clean up the benches now and get some trees in here. All right, I'll get these benches swept off. and I can start bringing in some trees. All right, here's my Osage Orange Forest. 
in the greenhouse it's good to protect this tree because it's leafing out and if you get a hard frost it'll kill off all these new shoots and it'll have to back bud and sometimes that's successful and sometimes the tree just dies so yeah once they're at this stage leaves coming out you got to protect them from the frosts in goes my small leaf linden Most of the trees that I'm bringing in this greenhouse are the ones that I haven't repotted. Ones that are starting to leaf out, but the roots haven't been disturbed. So in they go. A few days ago, I was hiking in the bush and I met a fellow named Don and it turns out he was a tree guy and he had a whole bunch of sugar maple seedlings that he'd planted. And he said, if you want some, you can have some. So here I go. I think I've got 15 of them here and that'll be a future forest. So I'll put these in the greenhouse too. Well, I've cleared up a lot of space in the greenhouse here. You can see how much shelf room there is on this upper shelf here. And over here, I've got a bit of room. I have to keep all my seedlings in the greenhouse because the other greenhouse isn't sealed against mice. And if I have acorns in there, mice could get in there. I don't know, maybe even a squirrel could get in there. So I'm keeping all the seedlings in this greenhouse where they're secure. So I've got, yeah, I've got a lot of trees still in here. Like these ones could go out in the bench, but I got to make clear the benches off first and rebuild those ones. You can see there's a squirrel there. He's, he or she is getting nuts. Here's a look in the poly house now. Hey, it looks so much nicer with green plants in here. I still have to clean off this bench. That's what I'm gonna work on next. I forgot I was going to wash all the plastic down. That'll have to come later. I'll have to move all the plants out and give it a good cleaning. It's good up top. It's just the walls look eh, kind of dingy looking. So yeah, I've got a lot of trees in here. Very nice. I, I like this greenhouse. It's a, it's a great greenhouse. It served me well for many years. And hopefully, you know, with all these repairs up here, it'll last till I rebuild it in the summer. So I, I want to uh, get rid of these flexible poly hoops. They're just um, flexible piping. And I want to build like a, a framed roof. And I want to make everything so I can put the plastic on in panels. So if I have to replace the roof, it's just one sheet of plastic. If I have to replace the walls, it's just one sheet of plastic. Right now, the plastic goes right from the ground, way up over the roof and all the way back down to the ground. So I wanna make it more modular. I think that'll be better. Yeah, so I'm happy. I'm happy with the work I got done today. I, I can still, you know, work away at fixing the greenhouse up, but, at least it's functional now. It's also nice to see this bench full of trees outside. You can see on the glass greenhouse, the vent is open up top and I've got the door open at the front here and it keeps it really cool inside. Like it's 26 degrees in here and that is 78 degrees Fahrenheit. Outside it's 71 degrees Fahrenheit or 21 degrees. So. Pretty good, considering the sun is shining on this section of the greenhouse. So that's working really well, those automatic vents. They're just fantastic. And the beauty of them is, is that if I go away to a bonsai show or something, and I have my tropical trees in here, I don't have to worry about it overheating. My other greenhouse here, there's no vents in the roof. And I remember some days I would water all the trees in the greenhouse. It'd be cold, uh, cool outside. I'd head to a bonsai show like in Toronto or somewhere and the sun would come out and it would start warming up and I worried about it baking all the trees in there and I did lose a couple of trees because of that that they just it got too hot in the greenhouse and I got back at nighttime and they were just brown they just fried so it's nice having these automatic vents I found them really good last fall it maintains a really nice temperature in the greenhouse even when it's hot outside and it's sunny. I'm going to start bringing out some tropical trees now and get them in the shelf. And I'm going to pick the ones in the plant room that are at the very back. They don't get much light. The ones by the windows are fine. 
But those ones at the back, they're kind of in the dark and I don't have a grow light on them and I'm just worried that they're just gonna keel over and die if I don't get them into some good light. So those are the ones I'll be bringing out first. I am having fun getting all my tropical trees in the greenhouse here. It's nice to see the greenhouse actually, you know, with green plants in it now. It's just been sticks and brown colors all winter long and now it's all looking nice and green. It's amazing. So I've got a lot of work to go. I've still got to make that bench and then get all these hardy trees out of here on benches or in the greenhouse over here. I've got that other bench I got to clear off in there. Lots of work to go. It's uh, keeping me busy all day today. So I've fit a few more tropicals in here. So this entire side here is all tropicals now. My baobab, the one is coming out into leaf. So I gave them a bit of water for the very first time since last fall. So they've been bone dry the entire winter. So there's two baobabs here, one here. So I've got a lot of trees out here now, tropicals. So I'll have to keep this greenhouse fairly warm at night now. And I got to work on getting rid of all the more hardy trees in here. And I got all my seeds over here. And these are all the ones that are newly repotted. So I don't want them outside because the wind could blow them around and I don't want animals digging in them. So they're safe in the greenhouse here and they'll stay in here until they're leafing out really well and doing well. And they're close to that now, but I want to get a root system growing in there. And then in the greenhouse here, I started filling up the other bench. So I've got this bench pretty full around the back and around to here. So lots more space still for trees in here. So I'll just work away at it, but I think that's going to be it for today. Um, I haven't eaten. I'm kind of hungry. I've been lifting trees around all day and cleaning and repairing the greenhouse, which was really nice. An exciting day here in the bonsai zone getting some of my tropical trees out and arranging the greenhouses and just lots of fun. That's all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the bonsai zone.